I work on this video which is all about becoming a professional forex trader from home, earning a great second income in your spare time, and also um, becoming a full-time forex trader, the steps you need to do that. And you know, I'm going to go through some realistic things that you need to do in a moment. I've started off with a clip from the classic TV series The Office. It's the opening credits for that rather gloomy and depressing image of an office. And it was a very funny TV programme. There was also a message behind it of you know people trying to escape you know dull day jobs, the nine to five routine of being trapped there. And the, the series has since been exported and it's a worldwide hit and I think you know it resonates with people everywhere. Lots of people want to go and do something different. And forex trading is a magnificent opportunity to seek a great second income or even you know trade it for a living. And the opportunity is there for all. I've said this before in other videos. Yeah, academic achievement means nothing. You don't need a university degree. No one can actually also lead you to success. But because Forex trading is simple, you know, the mechanics of actually getting a system together that will work is very simple. You know, simple systems always work best. Anyone can learn a simple system. And then the rest is down to your mindset. Your mindset needs to be right to win at Forex trading. Now, most people in life um, want to follow others. I've said this in other videos. They don't want to do anything for themselves or have responsibility for their destiny. And this leads to their downfall. You know, you can't get rich by following someone else. It's just you know, totally not correct. You can learn off other people, but you actually have to have a system you're confident in and then adopt the right mindset. Most traders uh, who come in the market simply will not do this. If you do, then basically you can you know, earn a great second income and maybe even you know, become a professional trader. Now, you know, everyone you know, who comes in who wants to be successful in anything comes in with motivation and desire. Now, motivation and desire is the start, starting point but that has to be channeled, okay, into action. Otherwise, it just remains a dream, really. Um, and, you know, when you're looking at becoming a professional Forex trader, the action you need to take is set it for learn a simple system, uh, get confident in it, and then get the right mindset. And I've covered these points in other videos. Now, how much money do you need to become a professional Forex trader? Well, it really does depend on you know, if you want to do it part-time or full-time. If you're a part-time trader, you know, anything above a thousand and you can try and see how you get on. But if you want to become a professional trader within a few years, you need to put up enough money so that it can basically support you, okay? Now, for most people watching, you know, realistic sum probably about, let's say $10,000. Well, let's say you've got $10,000 and you can make 100% per annum, okay? Within a few years, with compound growth on your side, you know, within five years, you can have that in hundreds of thousands. Um, now, five years might sound a long time. It depends on how much you start with, but be realistic about um, your starting capital and how long it's going to take you to reach your goal. And, you know, I've said it before, you, you'll see lots of people say you can make, you know, thousands of percent quickly and all the rest of it. I don't believe you can. The, the best trader is making 50 to 100% per annum. Um, but that really will compound up, okay? Um, compound growth actually does really start to kick in quickly. And yeah, you know, just put in your starting figure and then just put in compound growth for three or five years and you'll, you'll see how quickly money can grow. I don't think becoming a professional Forex trader for for most traders is realistic straight away unless you're coming in with a big amount of money uh, you've got to work for a few years to get there and i think it was um bill eckhart uh you know he was one of the guys that did the turtle experiment and said you know i'd rather yeah put my money on someone being successful who came in on a shoestring rather than with a million bucks and the reason he said that is because if someone hasn't got much money and has you know, saved up their money to, to basically get their trading account or whatever, they're going to be more um, probably careful with that money 
to make sure it's traded correctly and they do the right things. And they're going to be more frightened of losing it. I don't think there's anything wrong with being frightened of losing money. You hear a lot about uh, it doesn't matter if you should only risk money, that doesn't matter, that you can live without, um, and you don't mind losing. Well, if you come in with that attitude, you're going to lose your money. Um, you should come in with money that is going to hurt you a little bit if you lose. And you know, have a long-term plan if you want to be a professional forex trader. You know, three, you know, like I said, three or five years is you know not an unrealistic period in which to become a, a professional trader from home. And one thing you have to deal with is obviously you have to deal with your emotions, which I've discussed in other videos, but having a disciplined mindset to cut losses and run profits is a choice and it comes from the confidence in your system. You need to deal with leverage. And my one word of advice for anyone coming in the Forex markets is don't use too much leverage. You see four or 500 to one leverage at many brokers. You don't need anywhere near that amount. If you use that sort of leverage, you'll soon wipe yourself out. 10 to 20% uh, is enough. And you know, that is plenty. 10 to 20 in terms of leverage is is enough to give you a really good target growth without letting your risk get out of control. The other thing when you come into Forex trading is to be patient in reaching your goals. Don't try and you know force profits from the market. You don't get rewarded for the amount of effort you put into Forex trading. You know, you know, you're only basically rewarded for your for your um, accuracy of trading signals. A lot of traders try and force profits from the market, think the more hours they put in, the more money they're going to make. That might work in a day job. It doesn't work in Forex trading. You should only really be working a few hours a day in Forex trading at most, and you should be trading very infrequently. Patience is the key to your success. I've said it in other videos, professional fund managers have a dire performance. Why? Because they're trading too much. And they're just trading for commission. You don't have to do that. You can sit back and wait for the high odds trades to appear and then just trade them. Forex trading has got nothing to do with excitement. Uh, George Soros once said, good investing is actually quite boring. It is because you're sitting around a lot of the time just waiting on trades. When they come, then you can take advantage of them. But until they present themselves, the best thing to do is do nothing. Now, you know, anyone, and I've said it, you know, in this video and others, can achieve Forex trading success. The level you achieve it on is, is very much down to the individual. Um, but, you know, the opportunity, as I've said, is there for everyone to make money. And, you know, for those people who come in and take Forex trading seriously and treat it as, you know, a long term profession. Um, you know, can make a lot of money. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to finish up with uh, a clip from uh, the classic TV series, The Office. Again, it's Ricky Gervais. He always makes me laugh. And that's the video for today. So I hope you found the video enjoyable and, you know, it, it inspires you to become a successful Forex trader. Thank you for listening. Take care. Have a good day. I'm coming up, so you better get a party started. Shamo! I'm coming up, I'm coming. I hope not. <laughs> I'm in the pink. <laughs> oh, I'm in the pink. I know, I, get see it. You. I get it. Yeah, pink. She's good. She's wicked. Oh. Yeah.